Have you ever wondered who the ex-wife of the Duke of York is? Would you like to know more about Sarah Ferguson? Would you like to learn more about their marriage and family? Have you ever wondered why Jelaine Maxwell says she feels terrible for her dear friend Prince Andrew? Would you love to know the answers to these questions? Then make sure to watch this video to the end as we will discuss all this in detail. First up, what does Sarah have to say about her current relationship with the prince? Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew divorced sometime in 1992 after six years together, but they have stayed close over the years. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson have an unusual relationship. Despite being separate since 1996, the couple remains close and lives together in Windsor. The couple married in 1986 and were crowned Duke and Duchess of York. They divorced in 1996 after splitting in 1992 and having two children, Princess Beatrice and Eugenie. You didn't marry the fantasy world, you married a man. Ferguson, also known as Fergie, told Oprah Winfrey during their divorce, you found love and married a man, and now you must deal with it. It's no longer a work of fiction, it's real life. And the longtime royal couple faced their trials in actual situations. Fergie was engrossed in a money scandal in 2010, and Prince Andrew decided to settle a sex assault court case in 2022 with Virginia Jufri, a trafficking victim of Jeffrey Epstein. Despite the difficulties, Fergie has stated that she had made good friends with previous mistakes and maintains a strong bond with her ex-husband. Fergie also spoke up in support of her ex in the aftermath of Virginia Jufri's sexual assault court case against him and his ties to convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Andrew is a real and honest gentleman who is bravely unwavering to not only his obligation but also his compassion and innocence of always seeing the best in other people. She did write in 2019 on Instagram, I am profoundly supportive and appreciative of this giant of a man of integrity who dares to put his shoulder towards the wind and hold strong with his sense of honor and truth, she proceeded. Now, let's explore. For how long has Fergie known the prince? Fergie and Andrew did meet on the front lines of a polo field when both were around three years old. Her mom and dad informed the Washington Post before their 1986 wedding. Fergie's father, retired military major Ronald Ferguson, and Andrew's father, Prince Philip, both did play polo as children, as well as her father also managed polo for Andrew's brother, King Charles. Now, keep watching along closely. We're about to fill you in on everything you need to know about how they met each other, when they got married, how many children they have, and more. Don't go anywhere so you don't miss out on anything we have lined up for you. So, who officially introduced Sarah to the prince? Fergie's closest mate since they were young teens, Princess Diana, was the person who officially introduced her to Prince Andrew in the 1980s. I told her, oh, Andrew's decent, the Duchess revealed to People in July 2021. Duh, Fergs, she exclaimed. However, as reported by the Washington Times, it was Princess Diana who already had Fergie incorporated into the invite list of the June 1985 party hosted by the Queen during the week preceding Royal Ascot. In their commitment interview, Prince Andrew said, We have been made to sit next to one another. The whole thing has taken off at Ascot. As it were, he added. Following a whirlwind romance, Prince Andrew and Fergie wedded on July 23, 1986 at Westminster Abbey in London, accompanied by an appearance and their first kiss as a couple on the rooftop of Buckingham Palace. The royal marriage occurred only three months after their engagement announcement in March 1986. Prince William, who was four at the time, was a page boy, and Andrew's junior brother, Prince Edward, was just the best man. Queen Elizabeth authorized the York Diamond Tiara, which Fergie did wear on her ceremony day as a wedding gift. We wedded for unconditional love, and when I walked down that aisle, I had agreed to marry my man. In 2011, she told Piers Morgan. Now let's explore. How many children do they have? In August 1988, Fergie and Prince Andrew had their first child, Princess Beatrice. Princess Eugenie, their older daughter, was born 19 months later in March 1990. Every day, I commend the universe for letting me be your mom, Fergie wrote to her girls in a public letter in 2021. You've always represented the blood that flows through my veins. You have made my existence complete since you were small children. I admire you both because you are full of humility, laughter, and joy in your hearts. That same year, she informed people exclusively, I'm British and self-deprecating, yet one point is that I'm a fantastic mother. Next, who was Sarah's greatest mentor. Fergie remained good friends with her recently departed mother-in-law, the late Queen
Queen Elizabeth, referring to her as the person who trusts in me and her greatest mentor. Truthfully, my mother-in-law has been more like a mother than my mother, she admitted to the Tea with Twiggy podcast in August 2021. I utterly admire Her Majesty's incredible modernity and how adaptable, recognizing, forgiving, and generous she is. Following Queen Elizabeth's death, the Duchess of York expressed her heartbreak at a loss. She was an amazing mother-in-law and friend to me. I will be eternally thankful to her for her generosity in staying close to me even after my divorce. On September 19, 2022, Fergie participated in Queen Elizabeth's funeral. She showed up with the royal family members but did not participate in the procession. Let's explore. When did Fergie start her charities? She established Children in Crisis in 1993 after becoming motivated by a young cancer patient called Anya, who she met on a trip to Poland in 1992. The organization has since blended with Street Child and was primarily concerned with teaching kids, revamping schools, and teacher training programs in places including Afghanistan, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. In 2020, the Duchess of York established Sarah's Trust, a nonprofit organization connecting philanthropists with charitable organizations in need. It has made me a better parent to my daughters Beatrice and Eugenie, the Duchess of York stated about her charity activities in 2018. And now, how many books has Sarah Ferguson authored? The Duchess of York has authored far more than 60 books, which include children's books, such as the Budgie, the Little Helicopter, and Little Red series, two nonfiction books about Queen Victoria and a narrative, Her Heart for a Compass, a fictitious coming-of-age story based on one of her predecessors, Lady Margaret Montague Douglas Scott, was released in August 2021 and was her most recent venture into the universe of romance literary works. I created this book because it revolves around women's empowerment and standing up and being counted, Fergie told People. I was looking for my heart among each line and chapter. Finally, why does Jelaine Maxwell say she feels bad for her dear friend Prince Andrew? Jelaine Maxwell spoke from behind bars in the United States about how she feels so bad for her dear friend Prince Andrew. Maxwell told reporters in her first most extended interview since her sex trafficking guilty verdict last year that she still appears to care about the Duke of York. The latter has recently been stripped of royal duties due to his connection with the charged sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. I feel terrible for him, Maxwell told Israeli-American documentarian Daphne Barak. I'm keeping track of what's going on with him. The son on on Sunday, which authored the interview, reported that Maxwell appeared shaken when informed that the prince's lawyers asserted the pair were never close. I acknowledge that this friendship cannot endure my conviction, she replied. He has paid a high price for the relationship. He is a dear friend of mine. I'm concerned about him. Andrew will be embarrassed by the comments as he has repetitively attempted to separate himself from the shamed socialite. Maxwell, 60, was convicted in June of a 20-year sentence for sourcing teenage girls for Epstein to abuse between 1990 and 2004. She maintains her denial of the claims. Epstein was a financier whose clients also included the Duke of York and Bill Clinton in the past. He was apprehended in July 2019 on sex trafficking charges and committed suicide in a New York City jail a little over a month later. Barack interviewed Maxwell twice from a jail cell for a CBS Paramount Plus documentary. When asked if she and Andrew might be friends after her prison sentence, she replied, I don't have any expectations. People I've been friends with as well as close friends with, I can't imagine what they'll desire to do or not want to do. And here you have it. This is all you need to hear about Prince Andrew's ex-wife Sarah Ferguson and why Jelaine Maxwell says she feels terrible for dear friend Prince Andrew. I hope you liked this video. Consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel if you did. Also, please turn on your notifications so you can experience all the fun stuff we inform our viewers. Finally, if you have any more related news about the topic we missed, let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.